All right, guys, just to carry on from where Rav Jab took off, we, he was doing a great job, no issues there. Um, we pushed the pistons back in, we give it all a bit of a clean up, we've we freed the, um, the floating arm so that now swings out and forward, and then we slide the new pads in, that bit's very easy. Tiny bit of grease or even WD on the pins, um, uh, just so that the next person can um, get it off when they need to. That's something a lot of mechanics don't do, and and when you come up against these bikes, you know, 10 years later, and you can't do this stuff, if someone had just put a tiny bit of grease on these bolts and nuts, then these bikes will last forever. And it's these threads here, they, they go, and, and then the Allen key head uh, uh, rounds, and you're screwed. Uh, so, you know, do it, make sure it's done. But uh, that's generally the way it goes. And then we've got a an inside. The inside will sit like that. It sits on that ledge there. And then we've got an outside, and that will slide on to there, exactly like that. And then we've got our retaining pins. Again, I'm going to do exactly what I just said. Otherwise, I'd be shocking. Um, you don't want WD on your pads, so just be wary, just dribble it on, and then make sure it goes through, otherwise, again, you haven't done a great job. Now there's a spring down here, so you just saw me press down a little bit, you might have to do that, same with the back one, just press down a little bit, there you go, and that bit's in, and exactly the same with the next one, uh, they're on spring, so push it back in, and then rub jab, just, just lightly... Yeah, just lightly nip it up. Just be wary of your hands on the pads because of the crap. I've just said that after doing it. Ugh. Six hours later. <laughs> and it's getting dark and you're still spinning. That yeah, you, you know what you need to put here? Yeah. That little thing that goes 10 hours later. <laughs> <laughs> Rav Joe's given up. <laughs> I'm not giving up. The thing is now, Rabjab's knowledge is, is, is brilliant. It's now about confidence. Like, like Rabjab's watched everything for years. He could do it all. I've done the exhaust myself. It's exactly. serious. What? I did your exhaust. That one, there. Yeah, i done the, you, you done the, you tighten it up a little bit. It was not perfect. <laughs> and more rescue, all the guys are, oh, well done, Rabjab. Finally. Is that watch? And then I'll just tighten them up. I love that, I watch. I just watch. Oh yeah. Right, what do you do, Rajab? I watch. <laughs> yeah. Done? Yeah, <coughs> done, Charlie. Which way goes? Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Just work it back on. Yeah, Steve, you'd never get it wrong, mate. It would never... It would never uh, just sit on at all. It's going in. Yeah, but is it supposed to go through one of these holes here? You know these holes that it's got? No, no, no. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, it's not level. Ah, I've got it now. Yeah, be, uh, be really gentle, because um, you're nowhere near, Rabjab. You're not, you're not in the... Yeah. Rabjab, yeah. look, you're nowhere near. Right, let's take this bolt out. Yeah, pull the bolt out. You've got to really work it. Aim it, aim it. Get, slip it on like I did. Aim it up. Use your eye, look through, and then, and then nip it on nice and gently. Mm. You don't want to round any threads. Take it out. Oh. You good? Hold on. Come on, you saw. Right there. Good. Tell me it's nice and level. <coughs> I think so. Oh, it, it, it's no other way. Once them two bolts are in. You're doing a Black Panther stuff by full lot. So nip it up. <laughs> and nip up, tighten the torques up. Alright. I need to check it one more time. <laughs> and now, press the brakes a few times. Wait till it comes. Watch out, it's going to spray up. Oh, in yeah, face. yeah, of course. Watch out, it's going to spray up, though. But but press it yeah. a few times and it it's should. Very, it's very full. Yeah, good. So press it a few press. times and it should stiffen up lovely. Okay, it's still a bit loose. 
Yeah, because they're travelling out, that's why. Because yeah. pistons are travelling out. What about bubbles? Bubbles, ooh, bubbles means there's air in there. No, there was, it was like two Is that bubbles. good if we get bubbles? No, you don't want bubbles. No. Okay, there's a couple of bubbles coming. You'll get a couple. If it's so, just looking at... Just looking at Steve's spark plug. What we've got here, this is quite common in some bikes. It's water ingress. So the water goes in and sits on top of the spark plug. So it sits like this. Now, what that's going to do, that rust, is it's going to um, lessen the, uh, the earthing of the frame because it needs to be earthed on the frame. And that's going to mess with it. It is also running a little bit... Uh, actually, do you know what? It's spot on. But I do want to close the gap a little bit. It's quite a big gap. So a good clean here, a good clean in by the engine bit where this goes in. Make sure it doesn't go into the engine, whatever you clean it with. Put this back in and I think we'll have a nice, better running bike. So Steve's out of here. Just see the front of his DNA. Uh, front brake's great. Uh, um, obviously the ferriated stuff's done. Still a bit spluttery, so I think it's due a carb clean with these new fuels. Once a year, it doesn't hurt to do a carb clean and check that the, the pump is pumping. Uh, Gary's over there. We're just popping a spark plug to see what color it is. We feel like he's running a bit rich. Um, that's the DNA heading out of here. Catch you later, Steve. And uh, I'm only not filming him, guys. He don't, he don't like it. Uh, yeah, it is a bit splurry. Uh Yeah, so we're just checking his spark plug on Gary's bike to see if it's running lean, rich, or okay. So guys, color-wise, we're, we're okay. Um, um, probably a tiny bit lean, but actually spot on. What you do have to kind of consider is this bit here. Sometimes you get water ingress, and where it earths with the frame, it just gets a little bit gummed up. So I'm gonna give this one a quick clean, but ultimately, four plugs, because they haven't been changed for you know a year um, and uh, the bandits known for catching water down there so four plugs bang them in and uh, you'll probably be the bike will be doing much better so that's Gary's bandit that's that one over there uh, and again doesn't look terrible just won't hurt four plugs and get it back up to scratch it's the old CBR 600 Um, great day at the garage, uh, considering there wasn't much to do, we've had loads to do. Um, people like Steve coming down, that's what this garage is all about. Uh, come down, have a chat, Steve's lovely. Um, do, you know, learn and do some bits on your bike and, you know, if you notice things like this, there it is, if you notice things like this, then uh, you've learned something and you've learned how to do brake pads and so on always welcome you just drop me a message let me know when and i'll, I'll invite you down uh more in, you know more useful if your bike needs a service or something because we can do that